Hi, I'm Kieran and I'm going to be taking you through the kinematics of long jump. In the unlikely event you don't know what long jump is, long jump is an Olympic athletics event that consists of athletes competing to achieve the longest horizontal jump. Using the help of our jump at Marina, we're going to calculate the maths behind long jump step by step. Firstly, we'll analyse the initial run up. We know that Marina's run up is 9 metres long and she took 2.9 seconds to complete it. Her initial velocity is 0 metres per second. Using this SUVAT equation, we can work out that her final velocity is 6.2 meters per second. Using this equation, we worked out an average acceleration of 2.14 meters per second squared. We need to assume the acceleration is constant to use the SUVAT equations. We can also work out the kinetic energy generated in her run up. Using the equation here, we get a total of 1,076 joules. After the run up, Marina jumped, propelling herself forward and up over the sandpit. We calculated the initial angle of the parabola using motion tracking software. This turned out to be 20 degrees. Typically, this angle will be between 15 and 27 degrees. Her jump lasted 0.18 seconds and covered a total distance of 2.75 meters. We are able to model Marina's jump using this equation. Using this graph we can work out that the maximum height she reached is 0.47 meters. This value can be used to calculate the gravitational potential energy of 258 joules. From this we can see the loss in energy is 818 joules. This energy has been dissipated into other energy forms such as thermal and sound energy. We know this because energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred. However, these models are not completely accurate and errors can occur. For example, there are always uncertainties when using tape measures and rulers. So there is uncertainty when we measure a run up and when measuring the displacement across the sandpit. We've taken gravity as 9.81 meters per second squared. This is rounded to three significant figures of the full value. Our current graph applies the effects of air resistance. If air resistance was negligible, a jump would look like this. To maximize the horizontal displacement in the sandpit by athletes, they must increase their velocity of run up. They also need to increase their jumping force and maintain an optimal takeoff angle. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative. Have a lovely day.